PH and ask as a basis to the kids, we're gonna move on to our demo. So before handing out the materials and starting the demo, we're gonna explain to the kids about safety and how safety is important when working in a lab and that you should never consume or eat any of the materials and handle them carefully. So the materials that we are working with today are gonna to be cabbage sheet, which is our indicator. And just to make this, chop up cabbage and boil it with water and then you'd preserve the juice and strain out the solids. And the ideal color would be like a blue green and mostly like transparent and if your cabbage juice indicator is too dark you could just dilute it with more water as you feel necessary. And so the household materials we'll be working with today are Mountain Dew, Windex, milk, baking soda, and lemon juice. And they should be pre-poured in cups that are labeled with letters, and so the kids don't have to handle it, and um, you could avoid spilling. And so before actually doing the experiment, on the worksheet, the kids should make predictions about the materials and if they're acids or bases. And so once they're done with the predictions, we're gonna move on to the actual experiment. And so first you have to have them measure out a certain amount of cabbage juice. And so cups should be pre-drawn on with measuring lines and they just have like a picture or another cup filled with cabbage juice, and then they could do the measurement up until the line. So they get an exact amount of cabbage juice for each sample. And then so the kids would take turns as you do out of pouring each cup of cabbage juice into the materials. And then so they pour it and observe what happens. So with each color change, they would record it then on the worksheet per material. So Mountain Dew is sample A, and they would record that Mountain Dew turned a pink. And then they'd go on to proceed with the rest of the materials and record the color change as they go. Also, if you're working with a solid, make sure that you have something in order to stir the materials. And so after the kids have gone through all the cups and all the materials, um, they'll be able to figure out the pH based on the meter we put on the worksheet. So then they can look at the color and figure out the pH, as well as answering the conclusion questions at the end. Okay.